Yo, what's up everyone? My name is Andrew Warren, and in today's video, we have some more high quality Wall Street Bets content, more degeneracy for your viewing pleasure. And this time around, we have somebody that has lost pretty much everything. He's lost it all, and according to his comments on Reddit in Wall Street Bets, he has stated that he's not super rich or anything like that, and the money that he has lost is all of his life savings. So this isn't like a, a big millionaire that just has hundreds of thousands of dollars just to gamble, just out of pure fun and not even worry about losing this money. This is someone like me. Now this hits home for me because their portfolio is very similar to mine. In terms of the number, it's extremely similar. So this hurts me to even watch this person lose this much money this fast. So as always, if you all do enjoy the Wall Street Bets content and love watching other people lose money or make money while you don't have to take the risk, then please make sure to smash that like button. But let's go ahead and check this post out and then we'll get into it a little bit more. As you can see, according to Wall Street Bets user Rahul4122, he states, Dear Diary, I lost it all again. And he has it tagged as a loss. And this is a video of his progress just over the past few months. We're not talking about five years worth of investing, 10 years worth of investing. We're talking about thousands of dollars in YOLO plays just over a matter of months. And as you can see from his portfolio value, it's worth at this point way back in 2019, September 12th. That's before all the action started going on. And he was at $106,500 at that point. As you all know, my portfolio is at $110,000. So this hits home for me because I can relate to someone with a similar portfolio value like this. And according to them, like I said, they're not a millionaire or anything like that. They've just worked hard for their money over time. And that's how it's been for me as well. I've had to work really hard for this $110,000. So this does really hit home for me. So let's go ahead and see these losses in this video that he released. So as you can see right here, at this point, it's on February 26, 2020. He is only around 1.37% in the hole at this point. That's pretty much the baseline before all the action starts. Then at May 17th, 2020, that's near the peak of his investment career, or should I say YOLO career. It's the casino now. This ain't no investing, but as you can see, this dude is up 13.51% at this point, $121,000 almost, and then that's where it all goes downhill from there. He goes all the way down to this point to 64,000, and then it starts dipping really hardcore. He's at 45,000. He's lost over 50% of his money at this point. He's at $60,000 in losses on April 22nd, 2020. And then it dips back even more. He did recover a little bit of it right there with some sort of play. We'll get into his plays in just a second. But at this point, he's at $36,750 for his portfolio on May 7th. That is over 65% in losses. And then he starts to see it go uphill a little bit. So he starts making some yellow plays that actually work out well for him. So he gets himself up to minus 45% at this point. That's a peak of this chart. And it drops back down just a little bit after that. And he hits a low point of around 62% in the hole. And then he starts making some more YOLO plays. It starts getting them back up there. And then he hits this peak on June 9th with a YOLO play. And this is before everything hits the fan. This is where, at this point, he was probably thinking, okay, this is possible. I can get my money back. It's going to happen. And he's at $90,000 almost. And he's only down 16%, it looks like, at this point. But, as I said, it all hits the fan and goes downhill from there. And that's where he's starting to go lower and lower. At this point, he's at $3,000. And then slowly, more and more, he's down to $600. And he gets the battery notification. His phone's going dead. And then it hits $3.40. And also, if you are curious about his positions, I did look through his comment history. And there was a comment where he stated the first dip on the chart was from spy puts and some random trades. And he says the second bump was from WFC calls and some random trades. Third mega dip was from WFC calls again and some random trades. And then he says, finally, yes, I have not charged my phone. Bite me. So Wells Fargo brought in the big red, you know what? And if we take a look at this chart right here, I mean, you can take a look at some history with Wells Fargo. It is pretty much on a huge downturn right here. We had a great big crash on February 21st and that stock got absolutely obliterated and it had some signs of a rebound back when we hit this low point on April 3rd. It started going back up and it bounced significantly on April 10th up to 33.20 from this point at 26.23. So we had some big movements on Wells Fargo at that April 3rd to April 10th marker. Then everybody lost all hope and this thing dropped back down even more. 
on May 15th. It hit a low point of 2336. And once again, people took advantage of it, bought it on sale, and it bounced back up once again. And at June 5th, it hit 3167. Started seeing a lot more hope for this stock once again. And then it bounced back down, disappointed everyone on June 26th. Hit 2534 per share at this point. And then it just bounces back up with a little more volatility. And if we look at the past month, it's up 1.60% with a ton of volatility. And with the past week as well, it's up 3.38%. Past day, it's in the positive as well. But this stock overall is not my ideal choice. If I'm going to do options, it's not my ideal choice. I have to admit, I'm not a big options guy, but if I was going to do one, I would be doing leaps or I would be making plays on tech stocks like Apple or even ones like maybe AMD, Nvidia, Amazon. Wells Fargo is not the most ideal stock because you have such a negative outlook around a lot of these companies right now that are not in the tech sectors. For example, Wells Fargo is a bank stock and the banks have very low interest rates at this point. That means the banks are not making a lot of money off of interest since the feds have lowered rates to pretty much almost zero. So whereas you would usually have a lot of of people putting money into their savings accounts because some people would get like 1.5 2% interest really solid interest if you don't want to take the bigger risk to invest whereas now there's pretty much no interest rate I know Robinhood has like a super low interest rate right now it's nothing very significant like it used to be so you can't even really make a lot of money by putting a ton of money into savings you know you have a lot of people with emergency savings accounts where if they have an emergency they have a $30,000 on the sidelines well if you put that money into the bank right now you're not going to make a lot of money on interest like you used to at least you'd get maybe one percent 1.5 percent whereas right now like i said the interest rates are super low so a lot of people have to put money into the stock market and where are people putting the money they're not putting it into the bank stocks they're putting it into the tech stocks the ones that are excelling in this situation right now the ones that are not negatively affected i mean you have apple stock smashing expectations amazon stock dominating expectations they had a 10 out of 10 earnings report so out of everything you could put calls on hindsight is obviously always 2020 i can't act like i would have known any better than this dude but if i were to place calls on something personally it would be in the tech sector because those are the more bullish ones and honestly it could be a long time before we see bank stocks like this recover even warren buffett did put a lot of money into bank of america i believe recently he put like 2.1 billion dollars into that one but even a lot of analysts are saying that it could be a very long time until he sees an actual return based off of that investment so like i said the bank stocks are very risky but regardless hindsight is 2020 but i did want to check out this stock just to see what the history was looking like but if you're looking towards investing or maybe even calls i do feel like there's a better chance for ones like jp morgan chase going up compared to ones like wells fargo wells fargo is probably the least ideal bank stock i would choose for calls i mean this one hasn't performed much better but in terms of just the growth rate on this one for the long term, this has been a better grower than Wells Fargo has been for the five-year chart. I mean, Wells Fargo is at minus 8% for the five-year chart. And the most recent peak for JP Morgan is at plus 100%. And so even if you just compare these two stocks, there's a huge difference in the performance of them. One is not very good performance even before the crash, whereas the other still has a bullish chart for the long term. So there's a big difference. This one is going up in the long term, and this one is pretty much just flatlined and is a high dividend yield stock. So as you can see this person goes from $106,000 all the way to $3.40 and then he gets the battery notification at the end just the cherry on top so I definitely feel bad for this person I'm not laughing at you I hope you're okay bro because I know that it has to hurt especially if you've worked really hard for that money and if anything this is just another one of those tales of how options can go bad for you so you've got to be careful out there guys for all of the options people you have to be careful with the yolos but anyways i just want to share this video with you all and i definitely feel bad for this guy considering that we have similar portfolios i know how hard it is to get up to this point so i hope that dude's okay but i hope you all enjoyed this video if you did please make sure to smash that like button and also feel free to check out my referral links in the description below to robin hood and weeble if you sign up with those links at least you can get some free stocks if you lost some money on yellows you can get maybe a five dollar free stock maybe you'll get lucky and get microsoft or apple but i hope you all enjoyed this video and i hope you have a fantastic rest of your week stay safe out there and don't lose too much money